Hello, welcome. Now we are going to see how to control the mouse using our finger movement in Python and OpenCV. So now we are going to see the output of this project. I ran this project. So now I am showing my hand. I am moving my hand. The mouse is also moving. I just close this point. Go to this point and make a close. It closes. It closes. Closes. We are going to do this project in Visual Studio Code. If you have not installed Visual Studio Code, please download and install Visual Studio Code and configure it for Python. First, I am going to create a new file. Right click and new file. Mouse control using hands. .py. I am going to import three libraries. CV2. Media pipe pi auto GUI. So these are the three libraries we need to do this project. First, I am going to capture the camera. CV2 dot video capture of zero. This is the first camera that is connected to our computer. If we have more than one camera, you can give one two like that. If the camera is connected successfully, then we will be coming into image capture. Camera dot read. We can read the camera capture and store it into the image variable. We will have one more variable. We don't want that. That is why I have given underscore. We can use the image to show the video. For that, we are going to use cv2.im show function here the title and the image so these are the things we need to pass to this image im show function now we need to uh, wait for a key after showing an image the loop should wait for a uh, particular milliseconds for that i am going to use keys equal to cv2 dot wait key of 100 milliseconds we are waiting for 100 milliseconds for a key if any key is captured the value is stored in the key if anything is not pressed then it will go again and can capture one more image and so in the video after that we are going to check if the key is escape key that is the value for escape key is 27 then we are going to break the loop that means we are going to stop the video uh, output break and then we need to close the uh, windows and uh, we need to release the webcam but release and we need to close all windows cv2 dot destroy all windows that's all we have connected our camera file save run Now we can see our camera. Press escape to close the camera. We have given uh, 27 key to uh, if it is pressed then we should break and uh, the camera will release and uh, the windows will be closed. Now we are going to capture our hands and uh, we are going to show the landmarks of the hands. For that we are going to use the library media pipe. I am going to create a variable called uh, captured hands. Equal to media pipe dot solutions dot hands dot hands and then we are going to use the drawing utilities available in the media pipe drawing option equal to media pipe dot drawing options drawing utils now using this capture hands we are going to get all the hands in the video the image is captured and stored it in the image now uh, we can see that uh, i am running this video media pipe dot solutions dot hand drawing utils file save run 
so now i am raising my right hand but uh, i can see this like look like left hand so we need to flip the image press escape so the captured image is in the variable called image i'm going to flip the image image equal to cv2.flip of the image comma one one is the vertical axis we can flip the image using the y axis and then we need to convert the image to rgb image actually the uh, captured image is in uh, bgr image from that we need to convert it to rgb image rgb image is equal to cv2 dot cvt color of image comma cv2 dot color underscore bgr to rgb so now we have converted this image to bgr to rgb after that we are going to use this capture hands and uh, we are going to capture all the hands output hands is equal to capture hands dot process of rgb image so we are passing this rgb image to the process method of the capture hands and we are capturing all the hands in the output hands variable from this output hands we are going to capture one by one all the hands in the variable called hands all hands is equal to output hands dot multi hand landmarks multi hand multi hand landmarks now we have all the hands in the all hands variable from this we are going to so if there is hands if hands that means if we have any hands if all hands sorry if all hands all hands if there is hand in the all hands variable then we need to show the landmarks of the hands if all hands that means we have all the hands from that we are going to capture one by one hands for hand in all hands hands we are capturing one by one the hands from each hand we are going to draw the points drawing utils drawing options dot draw landmark draw landmarks image come on hand so now we can see uh, the hand landmarks we will see the output file save run it so now uh, we can see the landmarks in the hands i am showing two hands we can see the all landmarks in the hands press escape now from this landmarks we are going to capture one hand landmarks one hand landmarks is equal to hand dot landmark so here we have captured the landmarks of one hand for all the hands it will come uh, to this for loop first we are capturing the landmarks of one hand and uh, from this one hand landmarks we are going to capture two fingers that is thumb finger and the four finger points and then we are going to make a mark on the points uh, we are going to capture the all ids of the points using the enumerate function for id comma lm landmark in enumerate one hand landmark so we are capturing all id and all landmark using the uh, for loop from one hand from this we are going to identify uh, the x and y print lm dot x landmark dot x comma landmark dot y 
so we are drawing the landmarks of the one hand we are printing that so i'm showing my hands so we can see some points are here so now i remove the hand when i place my hands in front of the camera we can see these things so these things are the landmark points of the hands now we are going to find the landmark points for the thumb finger and the four finger so we are going to convert this first to the normal number it is all in decimal points for that we need to uh, convert this point value uh, the x and y we are we are going to multiply with the uh, frame width so for that we are going to capture the frame size image size image height comma image width comma underscore the depth we don't want this we are capturing from the image dot shape so we are going to use this height and width to identify the points now i am going to create a variable called x it's equal to lm dot x into that is width image width and uh, y is equal to lm dot y into image height so i am going to print these values now print x comma y save run it now we can see the values are like this press escape so all the values are uh, with the floating points i don't want these floating points so i need to convert these values to integer int of this value and again here also int of this value save this and now we can run the project to see the values so now we can see the values are like this it is not uh, point decimal numbers close this now we are going to identify the thumb finger and the four finger for that the uh, we are going to get the id if id is equal to 8 that is the four finger we need to draw a um, circle for the four finger cv2 dot circle so the point we want to give is x comma y x comma y and uh, the image we need to pass initially image comma x comma y so we need to provide the center point that is the circle point and uh, uh, we need to provide the radius radius i want to give 3 and the color for the circle is 0 255 255 bgr so it is in so yellow color save it run this so now we can see the color little bit uh, changed for the four finger press escape so we need to provide little more uh, higher radius 10 and run so we can see the point here in the four finger and like this we want to draw uh, for the thumb finger also if so i'm just copying this control c and control v so if it is four for four finger a uh, thumb finger so we need to say draw the same point save and run it so now we can see the two points four finger and thumb finger points are in this color press escape now we need to capture uh, these points we need to move the mouse to these points when we move the four finger uh, the mouse should move to overall uh, screen for that i'm going to capture create a variable called uh, mouse x equal to we need to find uh, the screen width for this uh, uh, to for uh, move the mouse to the total screen now we are going to uh, move the mouse to the position we move the ha hand so for that we need to get the screen width screen total width comma screen height is equal to pi auto gy dot size 
so we can get the screen width and height using this we can find the mouse points to move screen width in by image width image width so multiply by x and we need to convert this to integer mouse y is equal to copy this and paste it screen height mouse height sorry image height into y so we can now we can see the mouse in that place dot move to now our mouse will move to the location mouse x comma mouse y run this now i'm showing my hand and uh, when i move my finger we can see that the mouse is moving with that so when i move my fingers we can see that the mouse is going to the close point of this window now if we press if we uh, make these two uh, points closer then we need to make a click we need to write the code for that press escape so we need to capture the other point also mouse x and mouse y we need to store uh, these points in x and y x1 is equal to y1 is equal to x2 is equal to y2 is equal to 0 i am creating four values x1 y1 x2 and y2 is equal to 0 i am storing the first point in x1 y1 for uh, for id 8 i am storing to x1 y1 x1 is equal to x y1 is equal to y same thing i am uh, doing with for the id4 also x2 but i am storing here is x2 x2 now we are going to find the distance between x1 and uh, y1 so two points we are going to find the height distance is equal to y2 minus y1 so we are identifying the uh, vertical distance between the two points y2 minus 1 print we are print distance save this program run this program now I am showing my hand and uh, we can see the distance so we need to we need to stop this point escape plus escape and uh, we don't need to print this x and y comment this line run it now we can see the distance is reducing when I increase the distance is increasing when I move like this the distance is reducing so if the distance is below 20 that means it's very close so we can easily identify if the distance is below 20 we need to make a click press escape I am going to check if the distance is if distance is less than 20 then we need to click pi auto gui dot click That's it. Save the program. Run this project. So now I am showing my hand. I am moving my hand. The mouse is also moving. I just close this point. Go to this point and make a close. It closes. It closes. closes so now we are going to see the output of this project i ran this project now i am going to change the value to 
distance is about 40. So we, we can also make a print click file save and run this project thank you for watching if you like this video please press the like button and if you think this will be useful for your friends please share this video with your friends and i will be posting more videos like this if you like all videos immediate notification please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification immediately thank you for watching